clear. Oh, we're gonna make it through this one? So I just came back from a property, another possible investment property I want to check out. Uh, a lot of them don't work out um, for various reasons, but this was a really nice property. It was around 150-ish acres, and it was set up on uh, two different sides of the road. So there's a potential future to uh, cut it in half or subdivide it. Anyways, uh, we'll take a ride through the woods. I got some clips of that. I can't provide much more detail than that because I think it's going to be listed here before too long for sale. So let's get some fresh air anyways and I'll show you these uh, big woods. It's up in big timber surrounded by the Shawnee National Forest. So, Okay, so let me just give you a little background on this. On one side of the road there's roughly 55-ish acres and on the other side of the road there's about 100 uh, this property, as you're going to see, is in hill country, beautiful country, mostly hardwood forest, this whole thing. This is also the property that that old barn is located on that I put a video up a few weeks ago with this kind of corn crib or cabin inside of it. So anyways, if this is something you might be interested in, I'll have the information below to contact the owner, um, but otherwise it's going to be listed through Whitetail Properties here before too long. So it's a beautiful property. Let's check it out. At least we'll get some fresh air and, and hopefully you'll enjoy a little bit of scenery out in the woods. It's got a beautiful, beautiful creek running through it, as you'll see soon. Inventory's a little bit low. Uh, but there's, there's a handful by uh, Shawnee Trails. There's a couple that are right up the road. I saw the signs for them. I think there's a 150 and then a 70 or something like that. Hammer, that's for sure. But I'm thinking more, you know. 12 16 inch event you know over a weekend i mean i don't see a whole lot of sign of it i asked the neighbor she said she's never seen it over the road she said i have like a good no good this gully washer but nothing nothing ever flood this out it's too Government's on the west side, and close to the, or close to, the to it. I think we probably got a little more woods down that way. But then and you can have a looping road up here. Yep, there's a road. We got to tie it in though. Come drive up here real quick.
So do you know if this is year round or just wet weather? So as of the posting of this video on or about June 22nd, 2021, it's still privately for sale. So if you might be interested, you might be able to get a pretty good deal on this parcel or one half of it. Um, so you could either contact me direct or I'll have uh, some contact information in the description below. And then after a few weeks, maybe two, three, four weeks, then it's going to go on the market on Whitetail Properties. So just food for thought if anybody's in the market for land down in southern Illinois. It's a beautiful country down here. Yeah, you, I don't know, if, it, well, if you know everyone down here, you might have been able to find someone to pull you out. I think we left enough to give a pretty good little buffer from the road. Yeah, I doubt you'll be able to see much in here, but... but. Take a place like this. You know, if you get, you got 150 acres with no roads, and you know, you might have known someone or whatever. But if you're paying somebody, you know, 100 and a quarter an hour, man, it, it don't take long just to get just to get a road. Okay? And then you were looking at food plot clearings and maybe some watering holes. Some, Creek crossings, culverts, all that stuff, it adds up pretty quick. This right here, this is going to lead to the barn. The, the actual barn that the other people own. Oh, okay. This will okay. tie together with that. that that's okay. where that road right there goes. There's crop fields. In fact, this probably drove by coming in. I probably didn't even notice it. No, I didn't really notice crop fields. Looks like a, maybe a skitter trail right here, no? <clears throat> oh yeah, they don't cut government very often. Oh, they never cut it. They let them rot. 
Now, yeah, this is like we're we're gonna buy a 40. That's just like this bordered. Had a half mile of government border. I'm guessing where you're at. Yeah, some of them they don't they don't have marked. Uh, it's good when they do this. And it looked like we, we actually come out here this winter. And it's unbelievable. I mean, you know how stuff when it greens up, how it gets like. We had probably maybe bigger plans, but it just, this green, it just changes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes it Especially a lot more challenging. Well, I mean, when you can't map it out, because you don't have service out here, too, it's, it's hard to. So, but we actually did pretty good guessing on where. Well, I was just thinking that when we first came in, I was thinking, you know, if, if I'm, if I can make them. But all this, where the red mark, and that's pretty But hard. your road, you said it's already paid for. It's, pr it's pretty much a done deal. It's just got to get finished. Yeah, we did pretty well. I mean, it ain't going to, honestly, it ain't going to take. We were walking with him the other day, and he thinks he's good in a couple hours. So. Okay. Well, stuff like this, this yeah. This is I mean, we found, right. got lucky and found an old. Yeah. Something old. Over there. Wow, you look at look at you got all the green uh, under foliage and over here it's just whew, totally different isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Deer like final transition. Hey this is you got a beautiful transition border here. Yeah. What uh what's lane going for over towards Miami right now I Oh it's up in the uh, uh mid well, I mean, it's all different. These smaller lots, yeah, it's, they go for a lot more, obviously. Yeah. But you're looking at 25, 26, more or less anywhere below and above that range, depending on what you got. You can do anything to poke me out here. And it would be that much nicer. So that's going to conclude the tour for today. But look at this beautiful creek. I mean, it's crystal clear. So this kind of runs along the gravel road. It, it, this is squarely on the property. It actually has two different forks of this creek. It's a year-round creek, beautiful, beautiful water source. A uh, couple little swimming holes around. So anyways, this is the road that it's on. It's a gravel road. Um, there is power on the neighboring property. And I gotta be honest, I forget city water. I forget how close it is, so I, I don't wanna comment out of a uh, out of step so anyways if you're interested check out the uh, description below and if you're before the listing good luck to you and if not it's going to be on whitetail properties of southern illinois pretty soon so thanks a lot i'll catch you on the next video and if you do look at this best of luck to you guys thanks